So now we're going to take a look at transversus abdominis breathing. So this is that most important core exercise to start getting things super stable. So I'm going to have us lay down on our back. As with all exercises that I do on the mat, you can easily do them on the bed if it's not safe for you to get up and down from the floor. Knees bent 90 degrees, feet and knees are about shoulder width apart. I call this the position of strength. Even just lying here, if you're very, very deconditioned, this is actually subtly strengthening. People that like to rest with their knees together, you kind of get to turn your whole core off. So even just lying with your knees um, and feet shoulder width apart in this position is subtly strengthening, and that's a good place to start. Um, for the rest of us that are trying to make that even harder, you're going to take your flight attendant fingers and put those on the inside of your hip bones. And then typically I'll tell people to try and find that muscle. You actually blow out as if you're blowing out your birthday candles. <sighs> and you should feel that muscle pop into your fingers. Once you have awareness of that muscle, try and turn that on with your brain, not with blowing out blowing out over and over again will eventually make you feel dizzy. So my favorite cue is to say instead, pull the belly button down towards the spine and get a nice contraction there. You try and hold that contraction and breathe normally. After about 10 seconds of practice, you relax and let everything go. So ideally, when you do this, you are in that position, pulling the belly button towards the spine and breathing normally for 10 seconds. I'll usually recommend people start with three times 10 second holds. Um, and then once that feels like it's pretty mastered, then we move on to the progressions like marches or fallouts, which we will cover next. Um, the more often you can do this, the better. So if you can practice this 10 times a day, or if you can practice this once an hour, wherever you are, ideally you do practice um, focus like this um, at least a couple times a day. But if you can incorporate this into your daily life, that's going to be the best thing for you. Now let's look at marches. So marches is a progression of the TA or transversus abdominis breathing. Again, I'm going to do this on the mat. There's no reason why you can't do this on your bed if it is not safe for you to get up and down from the floor. So you're going to lie down, knees bent, feet shoulder width apart. If you like putting your, your flight attendant fingers on your TA muscle to monitor for contraction, you can do that. And I'm going to start still with that belly button drawing in. I'm going to make sure that my breathing is normal. And then I'm going to slowly march up one leg until that thigh is vertical. And then slowly lower back down. And then alternate sides. A couple notes here. My preferred pace is really slow. Three seconds to lift, three seconds to lower to make sure the brain has time to monitor whether or not you have good control of it. Intentionally keep the thigh from going past the vertical. Once you go past vertical, you actually make it easier for yourself. Things that I'm also watching for, I want to make sure that your back does not look like it's arching or rounding into the surface that you're lying on. And I don't want it to look like your hips are rocking um, from side to side. One more on each side. So typically, I'll recommend people start with um, five marches on each side in a set. A goal is to be able to do two to three sets or so. And this is a neuromuscular control exercise. So the more often you can do this to restore control to your body quicker, the better. So now, now let's look at that second progression of transversus abdominis breathing. This is called bent knee fallouts. So again, we're going to lie down in that position of strength first. If you cannot get down to the floor safely, please do this on your bed instead. Um, and this is actually the only time where I'm going to tell you to put your feet together and your knees together because it forms a better pivot point for this exercise specifically. Flight attendant fingers on that TA muscle if you would like. We're start with pulling the belly button in, breathing, and then you're slowly going to let one leg fall out to the side, and then bring that back in, and then slowly 
let the other side go and bring that back in. Typically, I'll tell people to stop themselves at 45 degrees from the vertical, and that's just because of the way that our hip anatomy is. Um, people who have extra flexibility, like hockey goalies or ballerinas or gymnasts, I can reasonably expect them to be able to go further, um, but 45 degrees is all that's necessary for the rest of us. Just like with marches, a really slow pace is better than fast. It should take you about three seconds to perform the lowering motion and three seconds to perform the lifting. Also similar to marches, we're looking for about five fallouts per side in a set. Goal of being able to do two to five, two to five, sorry, two to three um, sets per round. And we're trying to restore neuromuscular control. So the more times you can do this throughout the day, the better. Now we're going to move on to bridges. Bridges is a great um, core stabilization and glute strengthening exercise. So again, I'm lying down on the mat here. Um, you are welcome to stay um, in the bed to perform this exercise um, for safety if it's not easy for you to get up and down from the floor. So you're going to lie down on your back, knees bent, feet shoulder width apart, and you're going to pull the belly button down as if you're doing the TA breathing first, and then you're going to lift your butt, lift your hips, and come back down. Belly button down, breathing, and lift, and come back down. So the most common questions I get for this one are, um, do I hold at the top? So for my purposes, I'm looking for glute strengthening. I do not need you to hold at the top. Um, I prefer to do 10 reps to start, progressing to three times 12 to 15 reps every other day is my preference. Um, I like to point out that this is supposed to be a glute or a buttock exercise. So if you're feeling this in your hamstrings, um, that is not my intention. If you even get a cramp in your hamstrings, you're done with the exercise for now. Once a muscle starts to cramp, it's tapped out and it'll just repeatedly cramp over and over again if you don't give it um, multiple hours of rest. Um, so again, bridges, great for buttock strengthening. Goal of being able to do three times 12 to 15 um, reps per set and doing that three to four days a week is the goal. So now let's take a look at one of my favorite exercises, clams. So I love clams because it's a really, really great um, butt cheek exercise. So you're going to lie on your side. Again, if you can't easily get up and down from the floor at home, you can do this on your bed. Um, you're going to lie on your side. Most people cheat by being rolled back too far. So I'll tell people to roll far enough forward that if you had a laser beam coming out of your belly button, that beam would eventually touch the floor. If it's going off into the sunset or up into the sky, you're rolled back too far and you're probably gonna get a different exercise than the one that I intend. You're gonna lie down. You can use a pillow if you want to. Keep that top hip rolled forward. I'm gonna pull the belly button in first, breathe. Keep my ankles together and lift that top knee towards the ceiling, nice and slow, and slowly lower back down. Going again, lifting nice and slow, and then slowly lowering back down. Oftentimes, people are surprised by how difficult these are. For some people, I genuinely need to start with five reps in a set. Um, then typically, kind of the next guide I'm looking for is being able to do eight, then 10, and then ultimately 12 to 15 um, reps per set, three sets every other day. This exercise is really, really important to make sure that you feel it in the right place. We are looking for glute work. If you feel the work coming from the front of your hip or along the outside of your thigh, your IT band, that is actually the opposite of what I'm looking for. To me, we are making ourselves worse if we feel it other than in the glutes and the butt cheek. So make sure your form is good. If you feel like you still have optimized your form and you're still getting the IT band or the hip, the front of the hip doing the work, then I'd rather you not do this exercise at all and work on the other ones.